Frontier Cavern, yay! Hello everyone, I'm Pepper Family. welcome you back for more Let's Play. Oh my god, no. This is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. Um, okay. We're gonna start by taking care of this lonely dwarf bulber. I don't really want to throw anything. So you, mister, just die, please. Oh my god, why is there so many bulber babies? There you go, at least I didn't lose any so far. Oh no, there is the bulber. Oh, and what is that? I see leaves on the tops. I see leaves on the tops, I see leaves on the tops, I see leaves on the tops, and there's gonna be so many hazards that you're not even gonna know. But you gotta be a, you gotta pay a lot of attention because ball bears can come from anywhere. Just be careful not to stay on its path and it will not come for you. However, the ball bear will have a treasure that we're gonna be wanting, but I have a strategy to deal with the ball bears. So don't you worry that much. The only problem is that babies are almost always following the ball bears. So yeah, that is an issue. Okay now, anything over. Okay, that is the weird bulbar that has a leaf on top. I don't see any signs of Oh my god, you're coming towards me. You're coming towards me. Hello. Hello, miss. I think you should die. Oh hello? Cutscene! The confused Bulborb has fallen in with the Pikmin. They appear to coexist peacefully. Strange, this Bulborb has a leaf sprouting from its spine, much like the leaf on a Pikmin's head. Well, it does seem to be like that, however. Oh my god, there's a Bulborb! Oh my god, there's a... Oh Freaking... Friggin' Bulbear, I don't like you. Okay, these are Boltmen. Mixture in between Bulbear and, and Pikmin. A freaking um, <clears throat> a, sim a symbiote Pikmin took over the head of a Bulbear. And now it's a Pikmin inside of a Bulbear. Okay, be careful. No Bulbear around. No Bulbear around. I said Bulbear. No ball bear around, is there? Come on fast. Come on fast. I don't want any ball bears around my Pikmin. It's kind of bizarre how the little bald men carry their mother to the to base. But oh well. We got 75 Pokos for the fleeting art form. Which is a candle. Oh the the god, oh the god, oh the god, there is the ball bear. God, I dislike Bulbear so much. Bulbear, you're not welcome, however. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me! No, 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 stupid blue! Okay, there you go, 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 there you go. I have to use the opportunity and get rid of all of the Bulbears. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, it's so nerve wracking every time. But there you go, 120 for the danger chime. Oh god, it's so good that we took care of that ball bear. Because ball bears are the only other enemy, like uh, Gatling Groinks and ball bears are the only enemies that can regenerate and revive themselves. Oh, there's another ball bear baby over here. Ah, oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be troublesome. Okay, you, Mr. Baby Bolt Bear, can go die in a hole. How the hell did you get stuck over there? You would have been... You should be dead by now. You know that purple. Okay. I can't help but feel that there's just, there's just gotta be more Bolt Men in this floor. Holy crap! Okay, now I... Now I get what is attractive about this view because you can see traps falling beforehand. Is there gonna be something else, however? No, there isn't. Okay, freaking traps, I hate you. Oh, but you're gonna be going through the poison, so I just want Boltman and White scaring you. Boltman are immune to all hazards. They're immune to fire, they're immune to electricity, they're immune to poison, they're immune to water, 
and they are immune to everything you can think of. Except Squash and Eat. Those two hazards are the only ones that affect every single kind of Pikmin, Squash and Eat. Well, that changes in Pikmin 3, however, so Eat is the only one that all of the Pikmin are, are affected by. But, um, Squash and Eat are the only things that Bulmin are not uh, immune to. I suppose that is going to be the last treasure, however, so I'm just going to come this way. I really hope it's the last treasure. There we go, Bulbmin! And we got a ring with a star on it. For 100 Pokos, the Gemstar Husband. Nice. And indeed, that was the last treasure. So let's delve deeper into the Frontier Cavern. I'm not sure if I actually said the name right last episode uh, before we actually came here. Like, uh, I said that we would have to come into another cave, but I didn't really know uh, if I said the name correctly or not. I think there's gonna be more bald men over here. However, I want you to die, and I want all my pigmen going on top of you. Okay, that's that. And you too. There you go. There you go, you're dead. Oh, look at that! Ivory Candy Pop Bud. I mean, Ivory, uh, Purple, uh, Violet. Now, this is why I wanted to come with less Pikmin that you can. You can actually turn Boltman into normal Pikmin. And that way you don't have to sacrifice any color of Pikmin. Now, the trick to this is, you have to come with less than 100 Pikmin, like, less than 90 Pikmin, in order to get 10 Boltmen pair Boltmen Mother. Okay... Yellows, could you please take care of your hazard? Uh, no, I mean the- oh no! Swooping Snitchbug, I don't- I dislike you ever so much, leave my Pikmin alone! There you go. This is so annoying. Anode beetles are annoying. To say that, oh no, they're making a wall connection. Okay, now you can die. I think you already see the treasure that I'm seeing, but of course we gotta take care of this. Now be careful now that we have less Boltman. Don't go, like, wasting all your pigment on one electric hazard thanks to you thinking that you have enough Boltman for it. Now this only needs... Oh my god, oh, it's an exposing uh, snitch bug. Pose, 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 pose. There you go. That kind of trap doesn't really ail me. The ones that really ail me are bomb rocks. Okay, you guys, come back here. There's a treasure in the way, there's a treasure... This actually, this is a crystallized something, but this actually doesn't appear in the multiplayer games. This is the Omniscient Sphere. Nice. But it does look like one of those treasures from the multiplayer mode. Oh, god damn it. There's way too many Anode Beetles everywhere. There's no treasure that way, however, so I'm just gonna keep coming this way. Okay, and now I really want to attack you, mister. Goodbye! Okay, did I flip you? No, 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 Stop going after it. Okay, good thing you didn't go. Ah, again, Louie. Leave Louie alone! Leave Louie alone! Leave Louie alone! Ah, damn it. It's just way too high. I need you all, Pikmin, to come with me and try to thrash this freaking swooping. Oh my damn it! Again! Leave Louie alone! 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 Leave us alone! Leave us alone! Leave. Ah oh, damn it! Oh, but I do get the, the swooping sneech bug. There you go. That's better. Oh, but there's um, there's a couple of guys that are not are they're up to no good over here. 
There you go. No, you don't have a partner there. There you go. And you should die as well. I'm gonna leave some pigmen fighting you, and the rest can come here for the start of the tree. Oh, there you go. That's so satisfying. Coming over. Grab some of, uh, of, the, of our prices. Oh, wait, what? There's another one. Oh. Yeah, 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 I, I remember. I, I thought I had slayed everyone in here, but I said, Oh, there's gonna be another one. There's no treasure here, so I'm just gonna leave. So I left. And now Olimar can wait here while the treasure is getting to the base right now. Three, two, one. Oh, it missed. Three, two, one. Get there. However, Pikmin getting to you are not gonna let me win. They're not gonna let me win. And we got... For a hundred Pacos, the Innocence Lost Star. That was the last of the treasures. And that was the Delve Deeper sign. sign. Wow! There you go. I love this. I love all of you, Pikmin. Even you, Waltman. I love you. Because you are immune to all of the hazards. Now we are in the Frontier Cavern. Sub level five. Uh, oh, I like I like this because it's I, th this one is actually going to give us a power up. You can see uh, some of those chrysalids over there. Um, I'm gonna stun the Mamuta right here. But there you go. Now we have Mamuta as, reg as regular enemies instead of um, optional bosses. From like the, remember the Mamuta from Pikmin One? It was optional and you could only encounter in the impact side. Now we have normal Mamutas uh, in some some of these and there's lots of them now there will be one specifically that will actually give us a treasure however uh, you have to get rid of the Mutas first now if the son of your pigment gets stomped on by a Mamuta I would not worry because they get turned into flowers but I would at least uh, have one or two pigment with you because getting rid of a Mamuta with a captain is not easy task of course, now we have to pluck these pigment all out uh, hand by hand, but oh well. Now you get a treasure here. Processing how strange this atypical metal object came from inside that bizarre being. It appears to be a giant metal hand. Perhaps it is an ancient work of art? It actually is not. I, I think this is just a toy. I do believe this is just a toy in the normal world, just a metal hand toy. Probably uh, a Hulk hand that lost its color. Uh, its color over time, I don't know. But there you go, now we unplugged all of our pigment and we're gonna deal with this caustic, caustic, caustic dweeble. Okay, now I don't like this. No, I don't like this. I I had all my pigment over there and no one was dealing damage. But for a hundred Pokos we get... The Brute Knuckles. This object seems to replicate a humanoid fist. A glove much like a human horn slay in my junk hold. And here is that very glove. I have just found the missing rocket punch in my junk hold. Tap A three times to launch it. One, two, punch! So now we can Falcon Punch. Am I gonna be able to like start dealing damage to this caustic weevil? There you go. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Go, go on ahead. And of course, we want to, we want to transform all of our, we want to transform all of our uh, boatmen into purples now. There you go. Let me unplug my pigment though. It just takes so damn long. And of course, if you leave your pigment here to be uh, transformed into flowers, and then don't come and unplug them, then you're just gonna have a bad time. Ah, oh, damn it! I wanted that for my. Oh well. I wanted that for the newborn purples. Now a lot of pigment are gonna come. And oh, actually no. Okay now, so let's separate pigments by groups. Of course, Boltmin are a separate group. These qualify as the green pigment, kind of. Green pigment that are immune to everything. So, yellow, I don't like you. Get there. 
That is ivory, I want purple. There you go, purple. Because you have, of course, blue, ivory, and violet. And I want the violet. Only the violet, because I don't really have any more pigment to spare. Especially reds, because reds will, you know, were lost uh, before coming. So we're gonna exit with more pigment than what we had when we came here for the first time. But that's okay. You can also leave the, the dungeon here with the use of that geyser, but I'm not going to. Okay, there we go, and we're gonna delve deeper into the mysterious places in the frontier cavern. I do believe I still have like four minutes. The game has been saved, and sub-level six, the frontier cavern. We are into the, oh no, this one. We will have more Boltman here, but it is hellish to deal with this place because of these guys. There's just so many of them. Oh god. Oh god. You should be aware that this guy is not gonna go down like that. So now I just gotta come get some refugee, grab my purples. And just start to come this way, start to come this way, start to come. There you go. That makes me glad. Olimar, come this way. I don't want you to get in trouble. Not more than what you are already in. And I need my... Oh, my god. I escaped. Okay. Boltman, I don't really like you. But I think I'm gonna save the little guys. I don't know why they don't get attacked when they're with their mother. However, I'm gonna use this guy here to get rid of the all of the enemies that are dangerous to me. That's good. Now there's another geyser over here that I really want to take care of. Come on over, come on over. This is a really, really, really nice setup for the for the level. Even though you get you get stuck with three of these de decorated cannon beetles. Whoa, 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 where are you going, mister? Where are you going? Where are you firing at? Where are you firing at? Oh, there you go. Hello there, Boltman, miss. I've, I've been, I've been looking for you. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. I've been looking for you, so could you please not eat me? Hello there, little guys. Now come with me. And stay here with the rest. Stay with your brothers and sisters from other, that are sons of other mothers, called onions. Oh, now it's gonna be hard to get this one. Oh no, not so much. And now we have this Vulcan Punch! Oh god, but now we have two rocks to deal with. No, 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 no. Ah, yeah, that hit me. Oh, now we have three rocks! Damn it! It's way too much to deal with only one captain. There we go. Now let me bring over Louie to get rid of the water dumples. I don't really want to risk all of my Pikmin again. Come on, Louie. Uh, let's go fight the water dumples and then we'll come over and start salvaging the treasure. There's only those two pieces of treasure, however. Uh, but those two pieces of treasure should be okay to be close to repaying the whole depth, I would suppose. Okay, move away, Louie. There you go. So all of the monsters are down and now we only have to go for the Pikmin in order to retrieve the treasures. Of course, blue Pikmin would be the most useful here if not for the fact that we have Boltmen, Reds and everything else in order to deal with the hazards. So um, now let's see, uh, we want some Pikmin here, we want some Pikmin here, we want some Pikmin here and here. Oh god! 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 Oh 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 oh! Good thing you're smart, purples. There you go. That's the getting rid of it. Get all of you in there. Get some of you for this one. Get some of you for this one. And uh, the rest of you can just divide into these. I don't really care. The way you do it, just do it. Do you care to get more pigment to aid you? Okay, here you go. 
So all of my Pikmin are working on something. There are the true, the true, the two treasures that we are able to get in this place. And I don't suppose there's any other treasure inside of this place. Usually you get a much bigger cavern that has like a slope, and the geyser. I mean the hole is usually at uh, the top of this, uh, the top of the slope, and there is a gateway, uh, like a little passageway past the slope that would actually get you to one of those two chess pieces. So there is the first one, which is the White Queen, or is it the White King? It's the White King, and the White King is a worthless statue, of course, that is 80, 80, 80 Pocos for that. Okay, come on, Pikmin, come on, I know you can do it faster. And then there's gonna get, <laughs> a lot of Pikmin are gonna get there, help them. And we're gonna get the last one of these, which is the, the the Black Queen, called the Priceless Statue, of course. And then uh, we're just gonna wait for those couple of Pikmin to get by. Come on, Pikmin. I know you can do it. Is no one gonna go help you? Okay, there you go. Now you can be faster. There you go, and that's gonna be everything for this episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2, guys. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to rate the video, comment, and subscribe if you really like the video. And I'll see you guys next time when we continue through the Frontier Cavern. Goodbye!